Hey guys, it, yeah, it is extremely preventable. And that's the main message that fire departments all across Arizona want to get across is that, you know, you just need to be alert and keep that checklist in mind of what to do so that way you can avoid situations like this. Now, of course, emergencies do happen. And so we've been talking with the Phoenix Fire Department to talk about how they assess these situations and how you save lives. Joe, thank you for being with us, you know, throughout the day today. And so um, obviously we don't want these situations to happen, but they do happen sometimes. So in those calls, what do you guys do? do first? Uh, we assess the situation. If it's a hot car situation where it's the middle of summer and it's 115 degrees out, we're, we're going to go the extreme. And the extreme is breaking the window to get that child out. But if it's, you know, say February and it's in the morning and it's 50 out, we've probably got a little time as long as the child is not distressed in any way. And then at that point, we're going to we maybe take a little time and use our our kits that we have in order to maybe get in without doing damage to the vehicle. And that's what you guys are seeing right now. So talk about these tools that we're seeing here and how the fire department uses those to help save a child. So this first uh, kit right here is what we call a, a Z tool kit. And that would be our not extreme situation where we would be able to, um, as I say, when, when we are on the way to the call, having the information about the vehicle is going to allow our firefighters to sit in the back seat and actually look up the car and tell us how to get in the car. So this is in the case where we may have a little time. Um, this situation right here, these are both tools that will break the window. This is called a window punch, and it basically you stick that in the corner of the window, pull that out, and you hit that because it's tempered glass that will um, shatter the window. And this is a quick uh, seat belt cutting tool that a lot of firefighters carry together. And then our last thing is what we would use most of the time is this is called a Halligan tool. And the same concept as this, we would take that corner, put it in the corner of the window, and either we would hit the window or have somebody hit that with a sledgehammer, and then that would break the window and we would be able to get into the, the vehicle. All great things to keep in mind to actually be comforted if you are in those emergencies. And you can actually get uh, some, like that seatbelt uh, snapper right there. Actually, you can buy that yourself and have it with you. And of course, just keep that in mind. Just remember to be alert this summer. And of course, just be comforted by the fact that we have departments like this that can help you in those dire situations. Back to you guys.